Don't worry, Sean Douglas. She'll be all right. How do you know? Because I've known Cat... Carly. I've known Carly for a long time. And I happen to know that story she was telling you, too. Can you finish it? I could. But I think I've got one you might like better. What's yours called? Beauty and the Beast. Have you ever heard that one? Maybe. Well, then you know how it goes, don't you? How once upon a time there was a prince, a kind and good-hearted man, but a witch put a curse on him. He didn't know why or how, but suddenly he found himself transformed in this, in this horrible-looking beast. And everyone around him was frightened. They thought, this must be the kind of monster who does unspeakable things, even though no one ever saw him hurt anyone. Yeah, that's because he looks so gross on the outside. That's right. Because on the inside of the beast, there was still that kind, lonely prince. Then, one day, a lady came to the village. A beautiful lady? Some thought so. Some said there were others who had shown her. But to those who were open to it, she brought a rare joy. She had a great power, you see. Her beauty was part of it, but there was something else, too. Something more mysterious. I think it was her ability to believe. Believe in what? In everything. She made men wonder why they'd wasted all their time living the life in their world when they could have been living in hers. Everyone felt it, this specialness of hers. And when she looked at you, you felt that you could share it too. You really believed that if she could touch you with her magic, that you could be like her. That you could be transformed. About the beast, did he need her too? In time. She'd heard all the stories about him, of course. But once she looked into his eyes, somehow she could see the man he really was. She fell in love with the beast. And the minute she did, like magic, the curse was broken. And the beast turned into the prince he'd been all along. And he spent the rest of his life happy and grateful to the woman for her faith in him. And he did everything he could to be worthy of her love. And they lived happily ever after together forever. Well, that's the story. Sean Douglas, did you... Oh, he's asleep. He's lucky. Yes, he is. You have someone to take care and care for him and tell him stories? Tell me, Katarina. Is it possible you enjoyed my story as well? Well, to tell you the truth, I didn't really listen to it. Which probably explains why I'm still awake. Maybe. There's no maybe about it, Lawrence. Hey, look at him. Even Sean Douglas is too old to buy your kind of fairy tales. And so am I. Can I no, help you with no, I can take care of myself. There's no need to be frightened, Katerina. I've told you over and over again and again, I'll never hurt you. You expect me to believe that? I said I'd help, and I have. I may have even saved your life, you and Sean Douglas. And doesn't that mean anything at all? What in the hell do you want from me, Lawrence? Huh? After everything that's happened between us in one night, I'm supposed to feel indebted to you? 
That's not what this is about, Katarina. Not at all. Well, I think you know about? that. What do you want from me? Just look at me. That's all. Look. And look me in the eyes, just like the story. See me. I do see you. Now, look harder. Look deeper. You see the man I really am, Katerina? Remember? Believe in me. I know who you are. I've looked into those eyes before, remember? And? Well, maybe the witch is right. Sometimes the prince deserves the curse. I'm sorry, I know you're hurting. 